Hi guys, um, it's been a minute, uh, here I am though with another voiceover, is that a word, um, with another speed paint with an awkward voiceover. <laughs> so this video I've tried something new and that's doing a digital k-pop fair not, wait, uh, that's not, I've actually done that before, it's actually that I'm doing a realistic digital painting. I've always wanted to do this, but just hesitated trying it out for some reason. I don't know. Um, when I look at artworks online, it's always the realistic digital artworks that that blow me away the most. My mind literally does go, you know what I mean? What was I? Oh yeah. So I guess that's probably why I think there is no way I'd be able to make something that would impress me like that. Out of nowhere though, I've just realized that I should stop being dumb. You have to practice if you want to get really good at anything, right? And the thing is, more than anything, it was really fun doing this almost photo study. I really pushed myself to the side of a cliff with the pick choice though. For body and a background and all. But I've definitely learned more about shading. I'm painting the clothes here and that tiny part of the car in the background by the way cars have always been a for me to draw I've avoided them for as long as I'm talking ever since like here I'm still scared of them but I'm gonna pat myself on the back cuz yep that was me I painted that tiny part of a car that's a car if you can tell. So you know what this means guys is that you can do back to what was I saying oh yeah I did this voiceover to share the fact that um I've come to realize that drawing from real life really does improve your drawing skills looking for references I strictly stuck I strictly stick with those that are drawn but lately using more real life references of like real life objects, real backgrounds, people and such, I found that it's actually been more useful in developing my art style, which has always been changing because of the many only art references that I use. And I should have realized this sooner, duh, that that really did influence my art style in like every single pick I do. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. Unless, um, like me, you're trying to actually keep or fix on a style of your own, you know what I mean? Let me just add that this is personal experience though, but who knows, it might be useful to some of you out there, so try it out. I've also always thought that, because I like drawing more cartoony or anime-ish, I have to almost solely stick to that. But nah man, that's not the case. Trying out realistic is really good practice for developing and turns out I enjoy it m way more than I thought I would. Can I be honest? I so hate to be control. Control. Oh, no. Once I get the hang of this, so like once I learn more about painting skin and hair and not just swinging it like I always have in my traditional realistic pieces, I hope I'll develop a cool art style in my realistic drawings as well. The thing is, with digital there's place for adding way more and also you get to change things up if you're not happy with a certain colour or proportion size. You don't have to just be content with it because you don't have another choice other than starting from scratch with traditional that is. 
um, prior to what I used to think just because it's realism that I'm drawing it doesn't mean that I can't change that up to my liking you know even though my proportions are still iffy here like still I'll improve with the next one hopefully and I can't wait to see some sort of style emerge with the more realistic pieces that I do uh, as I always say, pleading, please do let me in on any tips you might have for me. Uh, also, I hope that any of what I said through this video would, uh, was useful to someone out there. And if not, I hope you just enjoyed seeing me attempting this. The real drive here is that one day I wanted to do a realistic version of my OCs. So, practice, practice, practice. You're gonna get sick of me, but... Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.